Have you noticed when you swing the club that your body tends to move around a lot? So much of that is because the hips are not necessarily turning correctly. Now there's a bit more to it than just how much the hips turn. So if we look at the rotation of the hips and, and a couple of other things, we'll start to understand exactly how the hips turn. And because they're the platform for the upper body, my arms and the club, how I move my lower body, how I move my hips becomes quite important. When I set myself up at a dress, my hips are actually tilted forward. So looking down this view here, when, if I'm standing up straight, my belt line should be horizontal or very close to it. When I tilt myself forward, if I tilt forward and just round my back over, notice that my belt line hasn't really moved at all. Now when I tilt forward, I'm going to tilt forward but, I'm, but from my hips. So as soon as the, my belt line start, uh, my upper body starts to tilt forward, my belt line is moving. Probably black clothing wasn't the best colour to wear, but you'll still be able to see that belt line moving down. So when I'm setting up at a dress, my hips are actually tilted down roughly 20 degrees. So there is a bit of tilt there. If I try and, art, if I try and tilt my hips down more, I'm going to feel some pressure in here in my lower back. I don't want that. If I don't tilt my hips enough, if they're too level, then my back is going to tend to get rounded at a dress. So hips are tilted down. That's point number one. When I turn my hips back, there's a couple of things we're looking for here, or three in particular. One, when I rotate my hips, I'm, concern, I'm concerned about how much I rotate them. So my backswing turn, hip turn, depending on my flexibility, is going to be somewhere between about 40 or 50 degrees. So as I, as I swing back, I've got that you know, 40 degree rotation here, 50 degree rotation here. In some circumstances, if back and spine are really tight, then the hip turn may be a little bit bigger than that. But generally, we don't want to go much beyond 50. So that's the first thing. How much do my hips turn in the backswing? When my club swings down and through, my hips are going to rotate back until they're facing the target. So now my hips have rotated right around to the finish. So, so point number one is rotation. The second is centeredness. So when I swing my club, when I swing the club back, I want my hips to rotate without my right leg sliding one way or the other. So as I go back, hips turn, but you can see my right leg is still on the same angle as it was at the start of my swing. So it hasn't moved one way or the other. When I swing down, I want my lower my hips to move across so my left leg is vertical early in the downswing. It's not a it's not a sudden move, it's not a uh, it's, it's not a rushed move, but I just want my lower body to move across to here. And of course, it's taken me no effort to do that. A bit more work when you're swinging a golf club, but not a lot. So it's not this massive drive with my legs or my hips. All I'm looking to do, lower body across, so my left hip's vertical. It stays vertical until I rotate through to the finish of the swing where it's still vertical. So that's point number two. The third thing is the tilt that I talked about at the start. So at the start of the swing, my hips are tilted forward. When I turn back to the top of the swing, my hips are still tilted forward the same amount. As I begin my downswing, and this is where a lot of players uh, lose this tilt, and as the club swings down, their hips come in toward the ball. So you know, the, the golfing term for that is early extension because the upper body extends and stands up. If that hip tilt is retained, then that is far less likely to happen. So as the club swings down toward the ball, my hip tilt is the same. As I get closer to the ball, my hip, hips will lose that tilt a bit. So we still want to have a little bit of impact rather than sort of having my belt buckle higher than the back of the belt. So they're the three things the amount, the extent of the hip rotation, the centeredness of the hips, and then the tilt of the hips back and through. Get those three things right and you've got a great platform for the upper body movement to work correctly.